With a break, once in a while, you got to London. The trouble was, the place was just overrun with Yanks. Getting away from it all? <laughs> Bad chance. I guess Lord Nelson on his column used to wonder, whose city was it? His? Or Abe Lincoln's? Rainbow Corner. Stage door canteen. The American Red Cross. We'd taken over the whole joint. Yeah, there too it was maximum effort. All around the clock. But it wasn't all American. No, we kept open house. After all, it was their war just as much as ours. More, I'd say, seeing how long they'd been in it. Of course, the majority around was the U.S. Air Force, Army, and Navy, putting their feet into slippers and letting their hair down. And after the strain of events, it was mighty good. But as I said, we kept open house. We let them all in. Yeah, anybody was real welcome. Yet, even while you relaxed, over London, that same roar of motors. And then you knew they were going out yet again. Last trips before sunset. And after sunset, it would be the Lancasters and Stirlings and Halifaxes of the RAF Bomber Command. More power to them. Yes, and round the clock, always someone on duty, even if some were off. Bob uh, Bing, it's good to see you again. Are we on the air? Watch your I language. I think so. Please. Please. <laughs> I haven't seen you since we were both in Hollywood, you know, about three years before the war. Which war? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we better tell, but no kidding, you look grand, Jack. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, you haven't changed much either. Now, if you're referring to my suit, it's a lie. Uh, <laughs> never you mind, Bing. <laughs> well, I like it, you know. Never mind what people say, you go on wearing uh -huh. it. This suit was made by the best tailor in California. Yeah? Where were you at the time, Bing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how's everyone in Hollywood? How's Bob Hope? Is he still a bit inquisitive, you know? He's nosier than ever. Is he? <laughs> I, I've, uh, he really is getting yeah. really out there now. Well, I bet things are different since I was out there. I can't remember. Were you there around the time of the, uh, the Wright brothers? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> just a little after that. I think Don Amici had just invented the telephone. <laughs> I, I wonder who we were pinning up those days. Who was the pin-up? The pin-up? Well, yeah. if you're thinking of safety pins, I should say Frank Sinatra. Oh. <laughs> but even while you were taking in Mr. Crosby and Mr. Buchanan, other audiences, top brass at that, were listening to a very different kind of patter. Round the clock. Sir, the four o'clock weather briefing indicated that there would be visual conditions in the Berlin-Magdeburg area. This was later confirmed by the 10 o'clock conference. Consequently, it was decided to place two targets in view and line for attack today. In Berlin, the, aim the plans for tomorrow the the and city. big. Uh, so sing, dance, and be merry. Strasse, for tomorrow, the well, who knows? The Amor, amor, amor. When you're away, there is no day, and nights are lonely. Amor, amor. That's the way Frankie does it. Amor. <laughs> 